Hello and thank you for coming to my channel. Today I'm going to do kind of a loose watercolor along the same style as as this one that I did a few videos ago. And this one I added ink to and I added some iridescent paint that because I wanted to try it. I got some new pearlescent paints. But today I want to do something with some nice intense colors and just kind of wing it. So let's see what happens and let's get started. So I've got a, a big brush here. I'm just going to see, can you see where my water is? Does that matter? First thing I do is take the air out of the brush. And I'm, I think I'll start with turning this around because it's not the way I like to use it. Get used to where your colors are. And then you try to find it, and it's like, ah, where did that go? I've got a Prussian blue here, and I'm going to just wet these so when the time comes, they'll be kind of moist. I really don't know what colors I'm going to use. I might, might use some yellows. I don't really use brown very much. That's what you call a happy accident. And I'm using, I'm doing wet on dry here. And what I'm going to do is, is just paint, uh, as I've done with a few of my other videos, my newer ones. I'm painting and just turning off this, the sound, or turning off my voice, basically. I'm not talking. Because I want to number one, concentrate on what I'm doing. And I know it's fun to have the talk as well, but it's actually easier for me if I don't talk. So here we go.
I think that's about all I can do with it. Now I need to look at it and go, okay, should this just be a garbage project? Or does it have any merit? Did it? Did I do anything that actually kind of gave it life with the black and, you know, just outlining and giving it some shape and that sort of thing? Or is it just hopeless? If you think it's hopeless, then you go, okay, well, you can just chalk it up as a lesson of what not to do and try something different next time. The other thing you can do is just turn it over and paint on the other side and don't waste your paper. But I'm going to leave it at this right now. There's certain things that I could say I learned, which is, you know, or was reminded of anyway, which is permanent violet is permanent. So when I brushed it with this big brush over just about everything, there's no covering it up and there's no moving it because it's a stain. Whereas a pigment you can move around and you can lift and whatnot, but a stain, once it's stained, it's stained. And so that's not a mistake that I will, I'll soon forget, which is a good thing. And in here, for example, there are no leaf shapes. I'm just adding them. I'm making them happen just to kind of balance everything out. Uh, I think I'll put one here too. Who's to know the difference? I can actually go back in and paint in there as well. Just because a painting looks bad, especially when you're half done, don't give up on it. Um, my experience with painting, especially with watercolor, is that everything has an ugly middle. When I've written books, they have an ugly middle. When I've painted with acrylics or done colored pencils or ev anything, they all have an ugly middle. The key is not to give up. Don't throw up your hands and don't say, oh, I'm, I'm hopeless. I have no talent and you know, I might as well, you know, quit and, you know, just hang out and drink coffee. But I say, don't give up, just keep working it. And sometimes what comes out at the other end is amazing. It surprises you and it's really valuable. So I hope you've gotten something out of this. Please subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed this. I have lots of other videos in lots of other kind of genres, um, not genres, in, in lots of other mediums, media please click the like button because that really does help me and leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Do you think this is like, chuck it? Tell me, should I throw it away or should I frame it? Because who knows? It's always in the eye of the beholder. I look forward to your comments and I'll see you next time.